in my recent video I am going upgrade through rugged roads, jungle driving and maneuvering through rough and exciting pathways. Hi, I am currently in the western region of Ghana and if you are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing. Oh, hi, see who just came to say hello. <laughs> now, I recently just moved into my car exploring Ghana. So far, it has been a roller coaster. Now, I drove all the way to the western part of Ghana. This part of the western region is called Cape Three Points in a town called Discov. Thankfully, I parked the tent in the car, so I just set it up by the beach to camp for a few days. Getting to this part, if I dare to say, was a jungle right now. If you love rough and rugged roads that takes you through muddy roads and the whole jungle vibe thing, stopping, taking photos, drinking wine and enjoying the off-grid experience, then exploring the western part of Ghana is something for you. Now I just wanted to drive through but upon that long drive I decided, hey, why not spend a couple of days instead. During the day, I explored the beaches. I also tried out this new snorkel and because the waves in the western region are pretty strong, I guess I'll still try it more when it's a bit calm. At night, I just enjoy music on my boombox with a few drinks, relaxed by the beat. And I must say that this is what I call a vibe thing. Yeah, when I blow up, I'm a so high like Peter Pan. In real life, be living out my dreams. I spent two nights camping at SK3 Points. Now let's see where this adventure takes us to. Subscribe if you haven't already while we car campaign explore Africa. This is what I was made for. Man, I know this is what I came for. On a big stage, couple thousand people, and they do whatever I say so. Have chicks that color the rainbow. Yeah, chains on me like Django. Be a long way from my tank low. Cause my Tesla charge for them bank rolls and I'm I made a few friends at the beach. I call them James and John. Is it worth it? Feel like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, remind me. Don't be afraid of the dark. Be careful with stars. Not every light is gonna guide you, baby. Don't let it rain on your spark. Keep close to your heart. All of the pressure's gonna drive you crazy. And then a few moments later, the storm comes rushing in. Hi. So looking at the nature of the storm currently. at the beach but looking at the nature of the storm no way it's not practical the winds are so 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 strong it will rip apart my tent by nightfall let's take a look rule number one do not go camping on a stormy day <laughs> Here comes the rains. This is the first time actually testing out the tents during rains and it seems to be holding up really well except little droplets coming through. Uh, so far so good. So far so good. It's holding up really good. I actually want to go out and walk a bit in the rain but I don't want to also leave and then come back and see my tent flooded <laughs> so I'm gonna take it easy at least for a while for the rain to come down a little bit 
to save my life <laughs> I am soaking wet so myself will be taking in a lot of water anyway these little guys are chilling over here what's up I think the rains are coming down a little bit Well, at this juncture, I might as well just pack out. Let's start packing. The storm comes rushing in. Little rings start popping into my tent and then eventually ripping my entire tent apart. So I had to unpack. Take down my tent and spend the night in my car, which I will do an entire video on my sleeping arrangement. So let me know if you would like to see my setup. region here are some of my few essentials when touring back sprays very important to have while traveling in Africa this particular one you don't spray actually it's more like um, you just rub it 
on your body and keeps you know any flies mosquitoes or whatever disturbing your life away away from you get yourself a flashlight get yourself a flashlight it's important hi okay the next item now if you can have the luxury of getting yourself a chair anyway something a foldable chair that you can sit on when i park i can just enter into my car grab the foldable chair and i'm going to show you in a minute a remote area like this currently and if i should decide to just stop and relax take a drink you know and i can just easily do that by just taking out my foldable chair so let's let me show you real quick now here i have two foldable chairs in the car currently and i'm just gonna try and unfold one for you to have an idea of how it looks like so yeah just gonna hold the gopro and then do this at the same time now on the gopro i have a uh, a mount that i can mount and then do this easily but okay let me just do this quickly and show you guys <laughs> and move on so yeah yes and there you go it has a pass where you can decide to put your drink if you have wine you can decide to just fix it in there enjoy yourself while you are touring but so you place it here hey boom there you have it easy peasy can just enjoy the sunrise that we have here a beautiful sunrise so can just move this here right here just enjoy the sunrise while taking my wine oh yeah i almost forgot um this is not an essential anyway because in ghana while traveling the country there are so many places you can just stop by i mean one thing about africa in ghana to be precise is that when you are traveling you see on the roadside there are a lot of food vendors that you can buy food from but for those of you who are not comfortable buying food getting yourself a small stove which i have in my car i have a little small stove that i can cook should i but i haven't had the need to use it at least not yet so it's somewhere here yeah and i have some you know some sardines and um, yeah stuff like that as well so yeah i mean that is not an essential but hey it's just a plus should you decide you can get that and make the trip exciting and have your friends enjoy the trip you can cook on the road park by the roadside and have some fun play some music on the jbl or any other you know um music box so to speak or bluetooth speaker so yeah think about that for a second have some fun yeah anyway so that will be all for now and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out. <laughs>